Can move up then. Come on, just side by side with the leader. Oh, that guy behind him is doing. He's not getting in line. Okay, cool. Nice clean start. I don't want to be in the pits. Car right. Stay on the left. Still there. Clear on the right. Everyone's very feisty early on in the race. I probably should remind them all that it's 45 minutes in night as I go up the outside of this guy. Completely contradicting what I just said. Jesus. And I got the four times for that? I'm brilliant. So they'll take that redonkulous line up there. Anyway, I've got no one behind me now pretty much, apart from this uh, this Ronnie fella, so we'll just look ahead and see what we can do. Round he goes. There's no inside line up here, I'm interested to see what it's going to do. Stay on the left. Clear. Oh. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. There's no point me attacking up here. That 14 car isn't slow. But that 15 car's definitely fast. I'm trying to be cautious to be honest, I've been hit so far myself through no fault of my own pretty much. I'm not better. Oh, that's going to be an interesting corner. Ah, feck. I knew straight away I went far too wide, and this car doesn't like turning pretty much, so if you give it any angle at all, it's like, nah, mate, I ain't doing that, and it spins instead. You have to guide it through the corner like it's a lost child. I don't want to drive through. One minute 32.0. 
Seven seconds of that faster, so probably gonna end up lapping us, I guess. I have no issue with that. Not was that nice to me. That is not gonna go well. Too wide, definitely. You have to cut that corner to get any speed around it, and RS can actually do it, which is hilarious to me. Going in dry pool as always. No, I'm not shaking that 14 car, he's not slow. I'll give it to him. Nice and easy, and now full throttle. Yeah, he's putting it away from me. Even if I got in front of him in that corner, he wouldn't have. I wouldn't have stayed there. I don't think. Off track. No. If I get DQ'd now because of that fucking contact of that guy who hit me going up here. Well, it'll be my fault in the end because I'll get the off tracks of do it, but he certainly didn't help me on my way to the I'm not quite sure what he was trying to achieve there to be honest. It was his first wheel of the T five hundred. Sorry, first wheel, first race of the T five hundred he said, so obviously that's not a good uh, advert for the T five hundred, is it? Being very cautious in the braking zones. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Mod pull everyone. No, don't go off there again. Oh feckin' hell. Hey dude, you've joined me in a fairly frustrating start to this race. I'm being unbelievably average at the moment. I'm currently in the Corvette and we're in the multi-class series with the HBD, the, uh, the P1 slash 2 car and the 4GT. Yeah, this car's a beast, <laughs> pretty much. Yellow flag for an HBD. No, this is an old car. This is a, an old class of racing the GT1s.
I should not be catching this prototype. Come on, dude, shift. He should leave me through here, luckily. There you go. I get his aero push. Nice of him. I'm worried for this guy in front. Just to show that the Corvette is a beast in a straight line. Fuck me. I must have been lifting slightly there, I just went wrong then because I shouldn't be passing that easy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna kind of take any challenge to the guys in the first and second. I don't think I've got the pace to be honest. It's got to be a mistake to move those two. Now I've met the the guy bef in the first place HBD before in a race, and I was actually lapping him in a different class, and he wasn't too nice to me on the way through. It doesn't mean I'm gonna return the favour. It means that I'm wary of him now. Oh, blink. I find it funny that I've overtaken and pulled away from this prototype. That is not good <laughs> for that guy. Nice and easy through here. We get on the throttle fully just as we see the corner, the last corner of the track. I don't count the rest as a corner. It's a curved straight. I think we're doing too bad. We're definitely pulling away from that guy behind now, which is a nice kind of relief. By like one mistake, and he will be past us, so we've got to keep our head in the game. That was kind of poor through there, but it's not that big of a deal. We can make some time up here if we get it right.
going wide there's enough tracks so I'm very cautious kind of breaking down there I was tempted just to slam the throttle down through there, but you really can't because your car just spins around. Uh, 9.7 seconds to the leader, so he'll be on us next lap. Hopefully, they'll catch us into like a big braking zone or something. That's where the HPDs are a lot faster than the Corvette. The Corvette's quite difficult to deal with in low speed corners because it's just fat and uses all the track. And obviously, in acceleration, they're kind of both similar. You saw me earlier pull past the HPD in a straight line. There's not much between them in a straight line either. I think that one was damaged though, so that probably explains why. But still, you get the idea. I know where it's going to catch us, I think. Oh no, it looks like it's kind of been slowed down. He's out, I think. I think he hit someone. That is terrible. And hilarious at the same time. Just checking the relative, and the leader's disappeared off it. I'm pretty sure there's now an argument going on over the uh, driver chat, but I've got that muted for that particular reason. So we're going to have to deal with an HPD fairly soon though. No, 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 no. That was a little bit awful, but not too bad. He is hopefully going to catch us going down to turn three. So it gets into braking. That is basically how it goes. I don't think it's going to be close enough. Oh, it goes for the dive bomb. Fucking brilliant. He got past fairly quickly though, so I can guess that's a good thing. Like I said, for I don't expect much from this guy behind me. I'll grab a toe along the straight, but they are faster, unfortunately. Do you want to cut any more of that pit line or not? One 
my understanding is you don't cut it beyond the uh, when it goes to the double line. That was a good place for him to overtake. Ah, oh, off track, screw that. Got a slow car on the left. To GT. Oh. Uh, poor, poor guy. Yeah, nowhere to go there. That was a stupid mistake, I followed him. I can't break the same as they can. The thing is, I was only four seconds behind that guy and... Ah, it's alright. We're not out yet. I think I can break later there. I'm breaking quite early for a lot of these corners, to be honest. Just more as a kind of precaution measure so I get around the track. Got a slow, car on the right. slow car, what is it? Nothing, apparently. I see, no, that was number six, he went off, okay. <laughs> Welcome, show supper, no worries, dude. Race hasn't been too bad to be honest. Um, HPG has been very aggressive as usual. Um, I've made like a couple of mistakes, but nothing, nothing too terrible. And uh, we're running where we should be basically. I did get hit at the start of the race very slightly, and then the guy spun. He hit me from behind, so then I got a four times penalty, which is fantastic eye racing. Obviously, that's how they they like to. Advertise their service as someone hits you, then you get a penalty. That's fine, or get a uh, uh, marker for it. But I guess they can't. You know, it's hard to determine who hits who. I'll start doing this. Everyone else is doing it for God's sake.
I don't, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be possible to catch the guys in front, to be honest. Although I've not dropped back that much, so a uh, mistake for me with them, I can pretty much pounce on that. Gap in front is 4.2 seconds, gap behind the next car is 9 seconds. Can't get that corner right, come on, power. Yeah, I do have something in my window, yeah. He is pulling away. Not by much, it's by about two tenths of that, but it's enough to, for me not to get any closer, of course. Be lapping the the lead GT after this, about ten seconds time. So I don't think it's going to play into it much, but you never know. The two cars you can see just in front of me are the guys I'm chasing, so they're not out of distance, you know. Interesting entry into that corner, seems to work. What am I doing after this race? I'm not sure to be honest dude, I haven't really thought about it yet.
Hey, don't you be saying my name. <laughs> Yeah, if when you sign up you say that Paul recommended you, uh, he'll get some money or about ten dollars worth of money to spend on a new car. So that's something nice you can do for him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cut. 13 out of 17. Oh, come on. There goes my chance of catching them. Make it easy for him, he's behind me. My email. Go, okay, well, I'll give you that in a second, dude. You do, unfortunately. This is an expensive thing, I racing. There are you do get like some tracks when you start. Like you haven't got a buy content right away. The tracks you'll be doing first, like, don't require the content. Uh, any additional content. You do again. You get stock. You get stock cars and stock track as well. So like, you get you get some base content and anything after that you have to. If you want it, you're gonna have to buy. One minute, Yeah. One of the big downsides of our racing is the way they do their business. I would let this HPD through if he was faster than me, but he's just not. <laughs> He'll gain on me and obviously in the downfall sections, and I pull away everywhere else, which is not right on the straight. It would be indeed. 
I'm not quite sure why they don't do that to be honest. Uh, no. I know, dude. I know. I know the feels. Don't worry, man. Mm -mm. A lot of that missed my mouth. Now have a wet wheel, I know. Slip and slide. Come on. Yeah, I think what you're saying, Chester, is that um, he doesn't want to have, he'd rather have tracks like circuits as opposed to you know the the ovals which is kind of fair really everything that you say you you're saying now Gothenek has been has been said before like trust me To be honest, I think that the like our racing community is just fancies itself sometimes to be a bit too elitist, like they are turning away a lot of business, one with their money, how much you're expected to pay for the service they provide as they keep saying. And there you know, there are things that aren't in the game that you can get in other games, like there's no driver swap. There's no races longer than three hours, I think, you know. There are limited cars, limited tracks. Yeah, you're paying for like detail, but there's a limit. It's racing so much because like I don't like driving the same car week in week out.
the R Factor's next, you know, sorry, uh, I Racing as the driver was coming next release. But R Factor said that since like 2007, 2013, no, maybe 2014. I just hope when it goes over to Steam, they lower their prices a little bit because they aren't going to get much business from Steam. People who know about iRacing Racing already are on it, you know. You can wait, dude. You're not getting past me here. What the fuck are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, 